Number four, conduct your strategic planning session using open planning. Here's how you prepare for this. You need to identify the key stakeholders up front. Who needs to attend your strategic planning session? Well, everybody who's a key stakeholder. In other words, you don't want to get two months into it and realize that you didn't bring in somebody from marketing that would have brought in a great perspective on your strategic campaigns. You don't want to get two months into it and realize you didn't bring in legal and get their perspective on it either. So identify those key stakeholders now so that you got everybody at the table that needs to be built and get the buy-in for that strategic plan. Next up, bring three echelons of rank. Here's what that means. You want to bring in your generals or in your world, the, the people that are leaders of the organization, leaders of your team. But you also want to bring in your middle manage, managers, and you want to bring in those people who are closest to the problem. The generals are going to have the most holistic view. They're going to understand the market the best. Hopefully your team leaders have a more strategic perspective already. But it's going to be up to the middle managers to really embrace the plan that you're creating and, and to disseminate and communicate that plan. So very often we'll find that teams that do strategic plans only bring in that highest level of leadership. And that we find that they haven't earned the buy-in from those middle managers. And it's their responsibility to communicate the plan and disseminate it. And so that the chain is broken there. And for the rest of the year, they have poor adherence to those strategic objectives because the middle managers were never consulted and you never earned the buy-in. And then finally, you want to bring somebody in from the front lines because, again, they're going to give you that perspective you'd never otherwise have. We did a bunch of debriefs uh, with some frontline sales team members uh, for that same $2 billion sales group uh, a few months ago. And we determined very quickly that they had insights on tactical challenges that nobody at the higher levels would ever be exposed to. And by listening to those team members and bringing them in the planning stage, we're able to adapt and react and, more importantly, mitigate those threats during execution. This is a big one. You need to conduct the planning session in person, and you need to plan for two days minimum. Like I said, I know you're wincing at that. I get this question all the time. You say, hey, we're remotely dispersed. We're all across the globe. I can't take my team members out of the field for two days to conduct this session. I'd like to do it either over WebEx or over a phone conference. And Does it really have to be two days? Yes to both. You have to bring the people in person, first of all, because I've got to look you in the eye. As we plan out what success looks like for the next three years, I got to see your vertical head nod and really believe that we're bought in on this because we're going to be going full speed ahead towards this uh, strategic objective for the rest of the year. So we need to make sure that we're aligned on it. And for the two days minimum, it takes a while to build that alignment. It takes a while to really scope out what success looks like in the long term. Remember, we need to determine what we'll accomplish, how we'll do it, and then how we'll implement that plan at the same time. That's a lot to do in two days. So plan on bringing your people in for two days. And that upfront work that you're going to do now will pay enormous dividends in 2017 and beyond.